Far in the northern reaches of Ontario and Manitoba lies a vast, unspoiled wilderness, sprawling for over a million square kilometers. First Nations, explorers, and fur traders have long paddled the storied waters of this remote and unforgiving region. This is the Little North. This would be a trying journey through untamed waters. Guided by whispers of the past and grappling with the challenges of the present, we set out to retrace over 450 kilometers of paddling history. I started feeling a little disheartened and nervous about just how Part of this part of the trip was going to be. I have a feeling we're going to be entering into the type 2 fun portion of this trip. Just got slowed right down. I think we're going about one kilometer an hour. And the throat's going to be challenging at any time of the year for you. Friggin' wet, it's raining, damn miserable. There's literally nowhere else you can go, so you have to kind of just get over it and go down and keep a cool head about you, have your moment, and then just sort of push through, I suppose. When hard things are put in front of you, you really don't have an excuse to quit, so you just have to kind of keep moving forward. Throat River is full of challenges, hard times, tricky weather, tricky situations. So we definitely smashed into a huge rock. So we're gonna reinforce it, do some field repairs. Wilderness up here in northwestern Ontario is just incredible and just watching a river turn from a small stream to a giant, powerful, deep and wide body of water is quite a moving experience. Yeah. 